you welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 where um yeah in the last episode I did say that I was gonna maybe give this one a go down here and get a big run set up here from New York um what was it gonna be it was gonna be bread to New York no no bread to Warren yeah it was gonna be Warren wasn't it, it was gonna be bread to Warren and tools and stuff but most of the, uh, the comics in the last one were like let's see a plane come on Let's see a plane. So we're going to set up a plane. Um, I want a plane going from Temecula to Savannah. They're the two that we've done the most work in so far. We only have uh, parcels going into Temecula, uh, which is why we're not particularly sort of smashing it. Um, although one thing I have noticed is we have we have no public transport in um, in Temecula. So maybe that. Oh look, there's some new dump trucks opened up nice um we'll have a look at those in a second but first let's get some public transport set up into mecula and then we will look at sending planes out of the place uh right so buildings um we need a tram depot where can we put our tram depot we could have it uh we could maybe just lose that little house there and it wouldn't be horrific would it and oh, we'd lose two houses but you know what these things these things happen i'm afraid too much curvature collision there we go how about there no too much too, too much curvature how about there perfect um okay and then we want to oh there's already stuff going up look at that we want to get some uh streets with tram tool that is going to be electric okay let's um Let's put stations in first of all. So we've got... Oh, let's have a look at the areas. Uh, so residential, commercial, industrial. Okay. So let's do... Boom. Uh, oh, hello. Can I actually link you up properly? Yes, are you now one? Yeah, good. That's what we like to see. So, if we have a loop that goes there to there, and then uh, I'm going to say down to here, seems a, a simple enough one. Yeah, okay. And then we make all of those streets electrical, like so. Down there. That seems like a sensible run. Hold on one sec. Can you choose something that doesn't squeak when I'm recording, doggo? Thank you. Uh, right, so that's that. Now let's set uh, our line up real quick. Um, so you, you, and you. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting, actually, because it doesn't actually go around there. It just turns around in the middle of the street. I don't like that. I think I would rather it come up here. So I'll tell you what, we'll just we'll stick another station in. This is the sort of thing we can do. Now you're... Ooh, that's weird. Let's, let's just take all those off again. All right, and try that again, but doing it in a nice circle. So, you. 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 There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, oh, that's another little fire, a little freighter plane. Look, nice. Okay, so you are going to be uh, Temecula Tram. Simple as that. Okay, Temecula Tram, and then onto that tram, we're going to put. We're gonna put. Through, oh, we could do you now, Pittsburgh. Lucky or no? Let's do three of you. And I'll pop you on to. Actually, before we do, let's set your maintenance to high, and then put you all on to Mecula tram. And off you pop. Nice. Um, now, somebody did point out that you should technically have some going the other way on the same route, right? So let's see if that makes a difference. We haven't done that on the other ones, but I'm, I am tempted to see if it works on this one. So uh, let's let's actually make Temecula tram um, 
Let's make it to make a tram. Oh, I don't know, it's going. That's going counterclockwise, isn't it? So, so let's go counterclock. Actually, no, it's not a very good way of calling it. Let's call that one to make a tram south, right? And then we'll make a new line where it goes back to the way between them, right? And that one becomes Temecula uh, Tram North. Okay, and let's put three of you on it by vehicles. Uh, set, uh, maintenance to high, so they never run down. And you can now go on to Temecula Tram North. There we go, and then they should come out and go left. Right. We'll see if that's a de decent idea or not. I don't know. So let's have a look there. So they're crossing over now. That's fine. So here, look. Let's have a look. The people get on there. See, they got on. So nobody's on that now, right? There's three on it. Okay, zero on that one. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure that was that. That's a good thing because it seems like. Let's just slow the game down a little and actually zoom in onto a. Uh, onto a station where there are people. Okay, so here we go. Ah, so it's, it's, it is actually saying there's one either side, all right? But let's see what happens when this one gets there. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, he actually did... That guy or girl actually did only get on from the one side. All right, so, yeah, they do get on from either side of the road. Can I see where that's happening elsewhere? Two and zero. I mean, the main thing is there's not many people on it, to be honest, but that's fine. It's a new line. You know, to make it up and coming. So, let's have a look at these planes, then. So, we've got... Uh, pass do we do... I think we do passenger, because there's nothing I want to bring down to here. So, I think we're going to do passenger... And I think the idea is to have um, a bus... A, like a, maybe like a bus leading people into the city from rather than having this like pfft, right next to the city I think the idea is to actually have it a little further out uh, quiet please um, I think the idea is actually to have it a little further out so how about we put it here oops right so it's lined up with there and we can upgrade this road and that might not be enough It might that might be too close I don't know, we're going to say. I'm assuming we can configure this with passenger building, terminal, cargo, hangar. What does that do? Used to buy and sell small aircraft. Oh, well, we need one of those unless... Oh, no, there's already one on it. Okay, never mind. So that's built in. So the only thing I really need to do there then is upgrade our, uh, our, uh, our country streets. Which one is it? Highways. Is that one? Small country road, medium country road. Okay. Upgrade. All I want to do really is upgrade that road there. And the main reason you use country roads apparently is because they don't build onto them. Which is not what we want. We don't want we don't want people to build on it, do we? We just want people to to transport to it. And we'll set up a bus stop in a minute. But first of all, we need another one of those passenger airfields. This time we're coming over to Savannah. Oh, the game's getting a little laggy. Um so again, same kind of thing. I guess this is probably the spot for it, isn't it, really? Right. So we'll put you in there, and we'll upgrade this road. Um, we might as well do it to there. I mean, no one is actually going over there, are they? So... Is that it then? Do we do we just make a line like we normally would? Okay, so it goes up in the air. Oh, that's good. You get a little line of how it's going to go. So no, we want you to come down to here. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's nice. I mean, it's, it doesn't. It's not particularly far, really. A, a train or a boat could do it, but just want to kind of play around with the new things, you know. So that's going to be Temecula. Hold on, Temecula, Savannah. There. there you go and we want a little we want a little we want a uh, we want a plane so passenger we're going straight into passenger so how many does that carry that carries 14 that carries 15 
cargo type person. That looks much more like a passenger plane than that one. That looks like it's going to collapse. Um, ten people, ten all sorts, five. Yeah, I think so there's much less cargo. It's definitely all about the passenger, isn't it? I think we're going to go for one of those. And I, I think, I think to be honest with you, to start off with, I'm just, I'm not even going to send one like either way. I'm just going to get you going. Oh, here it comes, look. Yes! It's a proper propeller, proper propeller, propeller, propeller plane. Put teeth in. So now, yeah, I think we need, I think we need a bus to that. Because I don't imagine anyone is going to come and just kind of hang out. I think we're going to need a bus back and forth. Let's have a look. Because there are, there are cars on the road. First aircraft, there we go, I'm going to lie, nice. There are cars on the road, but I don't, I think you have to provide um, stuff for them, don't you? I think that's the thing. Okay, so let's come to here. Buildings, bus slash tram stop. Right, and we'll put it, I mean, right out the door. You can't miss it. And then we'll put the other end of it we want to do where the where the residential is really don't we at some point so how about there right and then we'll make that a line between you and you so you're going to be Temecula uh, airport transfer okay so Temecula airport transfer and there's the tram depot. We need a road depot. Have we got one to hand anywhere. There's a train one. I mean, there are there are there are cars on the road, so we must have one somewhere. Let's have a look. Is it you? Road depot. You'll do. Bye. Um, passenger. Here we go. Twin coach forty four. That's more like it, isn't it? Let's get two of those. Get their. Uh, I'm just going to set everything to high straight away and set them on to Temecula. Uh, where are you? Temecula Airport Transfer. Right. They'll make their way over there, won't they? Let's get this sped up a little. Oops. Not that one there. There we go. Here they go. They're already on the way. I'll tell you what, we're, we're cooking, isn't we? Look at this. Look, 1947. I mean, there are vehicles on the roads now that look like this look at that it's awesome beep beep temecula out it even says it on the top oh god i haven't noticed that have they all done that they have haven't they yeah. look ah i'll tell you one thing i have noticed about these cars um there's a little bit of a backup there isn't there look behind these buses i mean the buses aren't on this road so i'm not too fussed about that but yeah there's definitely more traffic around. Let's see if any of this that we've done has supported Temecula. Yes, that's given us 20% there. Look, we've still not got any fire coming in. Fire, fuel, you know. Quality there is very good, very good. Very poor noise. So we're actually going to be losing people because of this. That's a, that's a concern. But I still wanted to do it. Okay. So you're going to get yourself on there. Right. And where are you going to turn around? Oh, you just swing it. Okay, nice. So nobody on it yet. We've kind of got to do the same this side, I guess. Right? Okay. So bus. Bus stop. Uh, there. And then again, we'll get one right down in the in, in the residential bit, which I think is this area over here. There, okay. And we'll make that a line. This would be I'd be so chuffed if we get people on an airplane today. That'd be awesome. Uh, okay, so this is Savannah Airport transfer. Okay. And we should have a road depot. No, that's tram. That's train. Oh, is that one? Oh, no, that's plane. 
Uh, we might not have a... Do you know what? We might have... Oh, no, we must have one here somewhere. There we go. Road Depot. Buy two of those. And I feel like two's fine for now. I mean, we've got nobody on the line at the minute, but this should... If passengers work like goods in as much as there has to be an end point before they will start using it, then this should get people beginning... See there, look. Look at that. Is that, oh no, that's the one we've just put down, isn't it? Oh, but look, people waiting on it. Savannah Airport Transport, one. Two. <gasps> Are those people going to fly? Look, it's coming in, look. It's come right over these houses. They're not going to be happy about that. Oh my goodness. What are you chewing, dog? Oh, it's okay, you've got your bone. Do you know what? Recording videos when you've got a 12 week old puppy running ragged behind you. It's a, it's a tricky one. Come on, I want to see people. I want to see where, 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 where? We've got eight people waiting to get on the plane. Come on. Where are these buses that I bought? Is this one here? <gasps> Look. There are people waiting to get on the plane. We put this on the wrong side of the road, really, but 17 people. Oh, my word. I'm going to watch these people all the way. Here it is. Look. There's actually not enough space. Get yourselves on there. There we go. Okay, so let's watch you. You. Oh, my word. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Savannah Airport Transfer. Yeah, we've still got some old school clothing in here. I like it though. Where's where's the airport? Look, here it is. So they're going to drop you off right there at passenger. So there we go. Let's see them all. They all come out. Where they all and they all going in there. Awesome. As is this. So now they're all sat in here, are they? Oh, look. Oh, it's crazy how excited I am. Is that how it works? You literally just stand around and wait for the plane to come in? That it doesn't that seems dangerous. Okay, so where's the plane then? Where is the plane? Is it sat in Temecula? Am I just completely missing it? Uh, <laughs> oh, here you are. Look at you. Are you coming to land? Oh, no, hold on. I want to see you. No, oh, I missed it. But at least we will... Uh, we'll be, we can do this, can't we? There we go. Oh, look. It's a nice shiny plane as well. Uh, one of these is zoom. There we go. So hold on. Let's see. You've got ten people on you. Have you come from ten people? Come from Temecula? <gasps> oh my god! I'm kind of crazy happy. We need another plane. Genuinely, we need another plane. This is we've got too many people on this uh, needed on this plane. Fifteen. There we go. They're by you. Set you onto Temecula Savannah Air. You can come straight out and pick them up. Look, they're, they're all sat here. Twenty-three of them. People want to get on our flights. So, hold on a minute. See if we can find it. Here it is. Look, here it is. Boom. Let me click here. There we go. 15 people. At the moment, it's lost us uh, just over a quarter oh, of a million. Send them off for now. Uh, 15 people. Send them off for now. Quarter of a million. It's going to come into land. Here it comes. Oh, nice. And let's see how many. I mean, it's full. So it should earn money, right? If it doesn't earn money when it's full, what are we what are we meant to do with our lives? There are people waiting in Temecula. There's 34 people sat there waiting. Okay. Let's have a look. Boom. Profit. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and the next one's coming right behind it. Look. Oh, God. I thought that stuff fell off it then. It's not. It's, uh... You didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. I did. I saw birdies. Oh my god, can I click him? No. Cranes flock. <gasps> hey! <laughs> I 
<laughs> Why on earth can I do that? <laughs> okay. So let's have a look. Do we need do we need more airplanes? Is this is this what it's telling us? I mean there's twenty nine people sat there going between Temecula and Savannah. Savannah's getting some massive buildings look. Look at this. Um it's actually going up a little. So what's it's got very good, very good. It's still the noise is poor. But otherwise we've got loads of destinations look. So the other thing I I'm interested in doing. I don't think we're going to be able to do it between Savannah and Palmdale, is I would like to look at putting a highway down. Um, but I don't, again, I'm not, I, I, I struggle to, I tried to Google it and find a video showing you how highways work. Because it doesn't necessarily seem like it's, um, because it, I don't understand really whether they just, it earns us money at all, or if it's just the sort of thing that needs to happen. Uh, new vehicles available, nice, mostly trains. Some bigger tank cars, that's good for moving stuff around. There are how many people? There are 41 people. We need to buy two more planes. I know that's ridiculous, isn't it? But people are loving the Temecula transfer. Uh, let's set that to high. Move them to Temecula Savannah Air. Just go straight into it. There are literally this many people. I do wonder whether or not later on we can make this look a little bit less like like the the airport at the rescuers there are 52 people man do people want to get to Temecula don't they or, or leave Temecula I suppose actually there's quite a few waiting there how many how many sitting in Savannah is it about equal no there's less people no people want to get out of Temecula man get us out of here okay so I'm thinking between Temecula and Washington almost we could make this whole strip here Yeah, we can make it a highway. So, how, how is that done? Let's have a look. Streets, highways, here we go. Large highway, okay, so how about country? Here we go. Extra large country road. Six lane road. And we can we can upgrade stuff, can we? <gasps> okay. So, do we just do that? It, it's going to be a very bumpy road. That's the only thing, isn't it? Look. I'd rather make it uh, a straighter run to make it more realistic but that's so the problem is that is it's it's uh that's a, a one-way highway no i don't think we're quite ready for that i think i think extra large i think an extra large country road is maybe the way to go but then i suppose people have got to get off it we're gonna have to do like um like roundabouts and stuff, right? Or, or, or like junctions. We're getting into like city skylines territory, right? Oh, bus lane. That's interesting. Large country road. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tempt fate, and I'm gonna make this a large country road. Right. So what does this do? Oh, this just puts lights in. Okay. Okay, see so that seems okay, but it, I mean it just isn't very realistic, is it? They start off with these windy roads, but really, they don't look like this, do they? Main connection will be interrupted, I understand that. Let's just pause the game. Let's clear this out. Right, because this is just not how they look. But I'm happy to use these two points as points of access, so... Large country road. Boom. Already. A hundred times better, I reckon. And then we'll do the same on this one. Um, and like I said, I don't know... I don't really know if it... Oh, no, 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 we don't want that. I might have to do something like this. And then add that back on. But we, are we going to have to rejoin up all these lines now, or, or we, can we can we figure it? So let's make this a. Oh, there we go. That's nice, isn't it? There we go. Good. Let's make this a, a, a decent road now. Up to here. 
Okay, and then we'll do the same here. We'll turn this into a decent road as well. I imagine you can do junctions. I don't know, maybe you can't. I don't know, maybe is that a bit too... Uh, is that a bit too city skylines? I'm not sure. Now, this last bit here, I mean, just this little kink isn't great, is it? So let's let's just in for a penny, in for a pound. I'm hoping that these lo lo that it looks like these are going away when I put them back in. Yes, yeah, so I'm hoping it means that the game is figuring out what I'm doing and putting... Uh, putting everything back in okay that's that okay I think that's all done let's play it seems like everything's back on track and stuff is moving look oh some stuff's just like swapping over there is it figuring out what it's doing just gonna kind of gonna let it get on with it yeah because ideally what you'd have is like this would this would come off here and then he, you'd have like a trumpet, a trumpet interchange, right? But I don't think, unless you can put them down, uh, I don't think you can like raise, raise or, or lower the, the the tracks, you know. So yeah, I think for now, that's what we've got to deal with. But stuff's moving, man, and I just think it's a, it just looks more realistic as well, having those wider roads. Temecula should be cooking on gas. How are we doing? Uh, what is good? Only that there. Traffic. We could do with better traffic. Um, so how do we improve traffic? I don't really know. Other than like having more trams. I noticed that there are very few people there's two people on the whole line you know no do you know what as much as i think it's a good idea and it's realistic i don't think that having these two lines is is the way to go here so we're going to get there's one person on the south look there's none on the north there so manage vehicles we're going to sell all of you um and then we're going to manage the line and and delete it okay what the hell just happened there? Was that a good thing that just happened? Literally something exploded. I'm hoping it's just a bigger building getting built up. Has that helped Temecula anyway? Oh yeah, it's got it's very good now. Okay. So yeah, I didn't like that. Uh, that second run. We really need to get some fuel coming into here. I mean, where are we? Where are we bringing it from, even? Because the, the 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 one place we have fuel at the moment is barely producing enough for Savannah. Oh, it is producing enough, just. So you know, if we take any away from there, we're just we're just losing growth in Savannah. But look at this—we have we have high-rise buildings. How good is that? This is kind of like a direct sort of visualization of, of, of the place growing up a bit that's great and everyone else everything else seems to be running pretty well with savannah we're up to 100 plus 180 so population 190 you know it's sort of pottering about but that's fine i think like we already have transport to palmdale i suppose the only other thing we could do is send a Passenger. Oh, look at these passenger train down to here to pick up the boat or something. I want to. I want to see what they are. I want to see if, if that's worth an upgrade already. Because oh, there's ten people waiting there. That's not so bad. I think we have enough now. But let's have a look. Manage vehicles. Let's see if we can uh, replace them all with one of those new ones. Yeah, that one there. Look. Oh, 19. So what are they currently? Douglas's, which is 15. So those ones are literally just a bit bigger. Boom. Let's do it. Oh, big aircraft is incompatible with small airports. Okay. Um, no, I don't I don't believe we can build a big airport right now. Passenger airfield. Passenger 
Uh, passenger airfield. Airfield with one runway for small passenger aircraft. Airport with two runways for large passenger aircraft. Oh, that's more like it. Look, that's a proper... So can we not... Can we upgrade you? Or is it going to be a rebuild? <gasps> I'm tempted then. Because Savannah's a bigger place, right? So I'm tempted to give Savannah the bigger airport. So Mecula can stay a little now. But then we could also do planes from Savannah to Washington. We've got stuff going into Washington, haven't we? Just get planes everywhere. Okay. Um, so hold on then. Let's pause the game while we do it. Vehicle in the way. So we can't do it until there's no vehicle on. Okay, go on then. Get out. Let's make sure the next one's not coming in. It's really tough to spot the airplanes. My worry is that as this one goes out, the next one's coming in. Vehicle in the way. You tell me when. There you go. All right, now pause. Because I know we've got problems. Um, but I think we can do this. Passenger airport. Look at this. This is awesome. So I'm going to move it down a little bit because the bus wanted them to come into here. Oh man, I'll tell you what. the uh, It ain't got the best optimization anymore. I'm starting to struggle a bit. Okay, you get yourself there. Nice. Now, Savannah Annex, do you, are you just going to fix yourself? Let's have a look. To make, oh, it just does it automatically. See, things like that, the game is awesome at. It really is. But then optimization, starting to struggle a little, I'll be honest. So now we can put you in, replace. Big aircraft is incompatible with small airport. It's not a small airport. Oh, hold on. The other end is a small airport. Right, okay. That make that makes a bit more sense. They said it was two runways. That doesn't look like two runways, does it? That looks like one runway. But I'm gonna guess I can do I'm gonna guess I can add one on. Uh I'll determine the approach. Oh okay. I would like um I would like the approach to be the other way actually. I don't quite like it where it is. I don't really understand how they work though. Oh, there they are. So, do I have to remove the ones that are on there? And put them in this way? Yes, that's the, that's where I would like the, uh, I would like them to land without having to go overhead. They land, so they, they take off that way, but otherwise. So building uh, passenger terminal, cargo terminal, hangar, main building. Oh, okay. I, I I assumed that we could build extra extra runways and stuff eventually, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so we can play that. Now let's uh, let's find one coming in. That's I'm gonna guess you're going that way. Okay. They're really tricky to spot. There we go. That is the line. Let's have a look. So now you do a, a full loop. That's good. It takes off over the city. Well, you, ooh, actually, is that a good idea? <laughs> um, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, as far as the game's concerned. But I think probably in real life you wouldn't have it. So there's one. There's two. I'm guessing there's going to be one further on this way. There we go. So there's the one. We'll watch. We'll watch you fly in. Look at that. How awesome. Landing pad down. Or landing gear, sorry, down. Curve it in. Get yourself on the ground. Captain Kangaroo bounces you into the uh, into the runway. Awesome source. Okay, cool. I think we'll start working on New York next time. Um, let me know if you can add uh, runways onto airports. Yeah, let me know if that's a thing. Um, but until next one, thanks for watching. Be good.